made it back. Oh, look, the shed being stacked out. Right, it's time to quickly unstrap. Oh, Dan will want the back ones done first. Oh, look at all this mud. Back ones, back ones, back ones. He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. Back ones, back ones, back, come on. Oh, I've got unrailed strap, but in all my wrap, uh, ropes fell in the water and the mud and now my hands are all gritty and lovely so I just pick up my ratchets and we're now full up the barn is full officially full I'm strapping again come on there we go then you go up click pull 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 Be good at this now, Dan. You stack the whole shed like that now. Uh oh. Come on, you. Ooh. Goodness, scary. I think Dan's just said he's definitely stuck. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, are we gonna get another? Oh, another stucky. Oh, oh. There we go, that's okay. Ah! It's like bale Jenga up here. cutting up there so oh funny hair mum's gonna be cross <laughs> um made it back with my fourth load we've trying to shift 700 we had a bit of a delay this morning because of the grain lorries anyway disaster um a thing i do my thumbnails on has broken so Seeing if I can fix that before this evening, I have an hour, but it just, I don't know, it's had like a crash or something. So that's one disaster, but we haven't had any other disasters, which is brilliant. Nice, it's running quite smoothly. I am desperate for a wee, so <laughs> I'm gonna get into the yard, run to the house, then go straight down, unstrap, and back out for another load. What's the time now? four o'clock oh no it mean, that means it's an hour and 45 minutes to my video because i like to put them out at 5 45 so that's a bit better panic over here comes ben yep that's ben that's glenn i don't know which one it is ben or glenn you can see the shed just there on over there it's coming uh, it's filling up nicely and also you see the muck spreaders, I don't think you can see them in this video, the muck spreaders over there waiting for us. So I've just finished, I brought my last home load back. Uh, we've moved about a thousand bales today, 
which I think is pretty good considering we're a bit delayed as well oh. and it's not like close you get 44 on a bail trailer but Ollie Frampton from my party to come to visit quickly he's helping me to unroll straps come on Ollie let's put you to work <laughs> Faster, faster! <laughs> Go on, Lise. You know why it's so hard? Well, because you ratcheted it too hard. Is that the hook coming? No. Who's got the longest strap? I think you've got the short one. I'll move not. I hope you'd be quick considering you're doing this every day. <laughs> you've got the shortest strap. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Amy. I'm one of Eleanor's friends. I went to Agri Technica with her. I live with her at uni, unfortunately. And I also um, went to help her with the pumpkin patch and we had a tour around my dairy farm um, well, last year so currently um, I've got a heifer thinking about calving tonight so he says my dad but he's gone to a meeting tonight so I'm on night check so let's go see how she's doing so I'm trying not to disturb her too much uh, she is thinking about calving but she is quite happy at the moment because as you see she's currently chewing her cud happy as can be but she has got her tail up and you can't really see but she's got some like mucusy stuff coming from her back end and she's bagged up to enough to be carving but she could be a couple of days still she could be tonight you never know but i'll come and check on her before i go to bed so i'm currently keeping a close eye on the heifer just because the feet are still in the sack um which isn't the best because when the calf actually drops out the skin and well the calf still be in the sack can actually drown the calf um so i'm keeping a step back letting her do it by herself because i know different farm systems do it differently i've personally worked on a farm where as soon as the feet are out they like to carve the cow or the heifer just on our system we personally like to just let them do it themselves and like if they don't need interfering with we don't like interfering um so i'm just going to keep a close eye on it just because everything's in the sack still um yeah and i'll keep you updated right it's just gone 10 o'clock so i'm going to go check on her again to see how she's getting on um i think she might have started carving as i can hear i'm standing back just to not disturb her too much but as you can see She's just got the two feet out at the moment and they're still in the sack. I'll give her five minutes, but I'll get things ready um, just in case she needs a hand. But we like to just let them do them as much of them themselves as possible. But I might have to go and get everything just in case. Right, so I've just burst the sack and the calf is almost out. There you go. She's giving a little help, extra helping hand. I can pull her around. Can't really do it with one hand. Um, but this is this heifer's first calf ever. So this is nice little Holstein. Where is it? Heifer calf. As you can see there's a heifer calf. And I'll try and get her mum up in a sec. Get her licking. It's nice little calf so i've just dragged the calf over to the heifer's face so just so then the heifer can lick the calf dry and the licking helps to like stimulate it and well helps it to get going um so i'll leave them in peace now and then i'll go dip its navel later with iodine to prevent infections but here is the new mummy and her little calf so on our farm we like nice and easy carvings just like that just because it reduces stress for the cow and the calf and then it just stress 
lower stress helps prevent like diseases and illnesses and it's just easy and easy for us as well um so that's a nice little heifer calf um and in the future probably about two years down the line it'll be supplying milk for your cornflakes in the mornings Oh my goodness, that was amazing, Amy. How great is it to see Amy bringing new life into the world? Oh, that mum did so well. Thank you so much, Amy, for sharing this clip. I'm sure loads of people will love seeing how you carve the cow. And it was done so effort effortlessly. So thank you again. Right, we're going to see what's coming on our next time youtube and then we'll finish off with a bit of charles cam let's see what he's been doing with his beef cattle it's a big race to see which spreaders we all get <laughs> glenn's trying to race me so we all get the nice spreaders well none of us are too worried <laughs> hey so i'm um, back again we're just gonna show you a little bit of what we're doing during the winter time i mean there's not an awful lot happening it's just sort of more routine jobs on the farm during the winter time but um, show you what's happening here at home rather than at water. It is quite heavy as the spreader bell, but this tan handler has got a three and a half ton lift capacity and it lifts it fine. Right the way at full extension out there, oh, we blocked. Um, but blocking, unblocking super easy. You just reverse it a bit, put it back down, and run the box again. The advantage with this over the straw spreader that we had before, which is an old Primex one, is uh, with Primex you had to really go inside the shed, whereas this one you can sit outside and uh, cut straw in without ever having to go in the shed, so you don't need another person to be opening and closing doors and things. Thanks, Charles. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.